fried steak that's actually pretty healthy. Well, Chef Kelly York never shies away from the challenges. She's here from the Kitchen Hotline to show us how to make this healthy swap. Good morning. Good to Good see morning. you. Good morning. So some of these swaps I could see coming with a healthy route, but a chicken fried steak sounds like you get what you get. Right. And everybody loves this. It's at the diner, a uh, home-style recipe. It actually was brought to us by the German immigrants that went to Texas in the 1840s well, with their Wiener schnitzel. Yeah, this is yeah. comfort food. It is comfort food. And what we're going to do today is we're going to lower it by swapping out the refined flours with whole grain flours. Mm -hmm. We're going to drop the egg wash down with egg whites. We're going to use a whole grain cereal as the breading, and we're going to oven fry it instead of uh, pan fry it or deep fry it. Well, let's get started. We yeah. start with the steak. Yeah. Or... First thing you're going to do is take a round steak, which is a cheaper cut of meat. It's a little tough mm -hmm. and it's a little bit bland. And so you want to get uh, a cube steak, which is that round steak. It's been tenderized, or you can buy a round steak yourself, tenderize it by scoring it and pounding it with a meat pounder yep. till it's about a fourth of inch thick. And then what we're going to do is we're going to dredge it through. Now, we're using the gluten-free version here, but you can use other whole grain flours. So this is buckwheat flour, you B said? Buckwheat, oat wheat flour. We've got some seasonings in there, thyme, garlic powder, onion powder, and you're just going to coat that a little bit and then shake off the excess. Okay. And then we're going to put it into a what we call a foam. It's egg whites. We've got um, baking powder in there, evaporated milk, and you whip it up nice and foamy, and it's going to make our, our seasonings stick real nicely. Normally, this would just be a beaten egg or two, Yeah, right? a beaten egg. And there are egg whites in here, of course, and that's really between the egg okay. whites and the, and the uh, uh, baking powder. It's going to foam right up. Then we're using crushed total cereal, 100% whole... Uh, uh, nutritional uh, whole grains right and you're just going to coat that you're going to use a tongs instead of your fingers to get them all messed up and coat it a few times and then stick it on a lightly greased or a um, sprayed with a vegetable shortening um, cookie sheet and bake it at 425 for 20 minutes that's it now what have we done as far as taking out fat taking out calories how much well, have we've we cut out? the fat and calories down by a third we've cut the cholesterol in half um, or a 70 percent um, we've cut the sodium way down. Mm -hmm. If you get this dish in the restaurant, you're going to have a honking big uh, portion that is just slattered with uh, sodium all over it. At home, it's going to be a lot healthier. Next, we're going to make the sauce. Okay. And the sauce is a white... Um, peppercorn gravy. We're going to start out with one tablespoon of melted Smart Balance. Okay. And to that, we are going to... In lieu to, of butter. In lieu of butter. Yeah, you could use butter because it's not a whole lot, but we're using the Smart Balance, which is actually a blend of butter. And then we're going to use some thyme, black peppercorns. We've got some um, garlic powder in there. And let it cook till Smells it gets good. aromic. Yep. And then next, we're going to add uh, some evaporated skim milk. Okay. Now, that is going to cut down the fat a lot. And then next, we're going to thicken it with a little bit of mochico flour, which is sweet rice flour. Not rice flour, but sweet rice flour, which is much more glutinous. Not the kind of gluten that you get in, um, you know, for celiacs. It means it's sticky rice. Now, I'm not used to seeing that. Is that something you'll find commonly? Yeah, you can find it. Um, uh, Energy makes uh, brand makes it. It's here's the box, and then Mochico is also the other brand. Rice flour, okay. Yeah, you can get it at. Um, uh, various, uh, How health long does this need to simmer Till it thickens. Up? Now, okay. next thing you're going to do is just cook it till thick thickens. That's a slurry. Off it comes. Voila, we have thickened white gravy. You're going to pour that over your baked. Your final product. Baked. Final steaks. I like to cut them into strips and put them over mashed potatoes and slather it with the uh, the gravy and serve it with vegetables. And you've got yourself a great healthy swap to chicken fried steak. Well, of course, as always, the recipe's on our website at kwgn.com. And if you have more information or, or you want more information, you can call the kitchen hotline today between noon and 4 o'clock. The number is 877-773-8485. Kelly, thanks as always. You're welcome. Get a taste test in just a minute. Mm -hmm. Coming up, we'll take a... Uh,